Good day, Crafty Gems. It's Nikki here, aka Carson Ticket, aka Carson Ticket's Life. And you join me as I'm just getting things set up and ready to see if anybody will join me on the chat today. Let's have a look. See where we are. There I am. Just bringing the chat up to see. There we go. Hi, Patricia. And just zoom up there. Just setting things up ready. Just come back in from a run, a little bit tired, as always when I do the run. <laughs> so it's a index card day today, Sunday. And uh, Okay, <laughs> Patricia says she'll be right back. So, um, yeah, let's see. Sure. Okay, so it doesn't want to do that on there. So I will have to just stay with comments on my phone. I was hoping to bring the comments up on the screen, but I can't. Sure. I'll just be fleeing, doing an index card today. Day, using up some scraps I've got on the table as I'm tidying up. Put my glasses on, turn my uh, mouse off, put them away, and then uh, get started, I suppose. I know what I was looking for. I was looking for my, here it is, here it is, some glue. Some glue. So I've got these um, scraps of paper left over, and they're from making a. Um, I'm doing the swap Look for a uh, a mermaid doll. Oh, a mermaid doll. It's my swap. It's my mermaid doll, <laughs> and I made her with hair you can take on and off, and I made her some um, some more hair to go on as well. <laughs> So I've got these um so I've got these bits left over and so I'm going to stick them basically just on this paper here and see what happens. I'm just gonna make them smaller to fit on. So it's nice nice bit of colour on there. And uh look for my brush as well. Tripping over my own feet. <laughs> so um, I've just got some. P this isn't Mod Podge in here. This is PVA glue now. Ran out of Mod Podge ages ago. So just using some cheap school glue, which is good. And uh, I'm just popping it down on this card that I use was using as a uh, a little memory thing that I did for something else. <laughs> Yeah, when I made an album the other day, that's what I was using for the measurements and things, just to help me out. Hi, Vicky. How you all doing today? Hope you're all well. So we just get some nice colours on here. This is um, this paper obviously is a lot thicker than the index card, and so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it to stick all the way down. So I might have a lumpy bumpy card today. <laughs> lumpy bumpy index card, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. No. So yeah, just uh, just ran at eleven k's today. Well, it's ten point seven k's, which is almost getting on for eleven. And uh, the actual marathon, half marathon, is next weekend, Queen's birthday weekend. Which is good, which is good because that means that I've got the marathon, the half marathon on the Sunday. And uh, being the Queen's birthday weekend, we get the Monday off. <laughs> so it gives me an extra day to recover, which is awfully nice. Awfully nice. The 
queen to have her birthday just then so that I can have a day off to recover from doing the half marathon. Oh. Caught my cat trying to get out the window today. <laughs> Hope you can hear me. I'm so tired I can hardly raise my voice. <laughs> No, yeah, he's trying to climb out the window. Caught him just in time. Tell you, he knows the window's open by the smell, obviously. Sniffing the outside world. Making a bid for freedom, he was. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. Yes, yeah, my first marathon, half marathon back in. Ooh. <laughs> Oof, I dread to think how many years. It's probably three years since I've run distance. So uh, terribly unfit. So it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. There's no doubt about it. It will hurt. <laughs> you know it will. So anyway, just getting these scraps on. Might leave these big ones for another day, or I might throw them away, I haven't decided. So, I don't know, it's, uh, I was doing some, see that, can you see that? It's my Fitbit, and I got, I splattered white paint over it the other day. I was annoyed with myself. <laughs> That's so annoying when you do stupid things like that, isn't it? Well, I find it annoying. I don't know about you, but yeah, it's like, doh. <laughs> doh, what did I do that for? Right. Pop these to the side. Just pop, going to pop this over there. I have loads of dull moments, dull, <laughs> where I do dull things. Oh, just popping that there so I can have a cup of tea. It's usually coffee, but my husband says I'm drinking too much soy milk, so tea, I take less milk in tea than I do in a latte. I don't know whether you heard that, but I apologise if you did, that was my hubby. He just belched. I'm whispering, good, just in case he's listening at the door. <laughs> um, so I've got some tissue papers here and uh, just gonna cut that in half and just do some stamping on it, I think. It'd be nice. just a couple just to be getting on with Some ink and a block a block for these anyway the clean ones don't need the block these randomly over there. Look at that. Did that with my thumb. <laughs> Wipe that off. As long as I don't put my sleeve in it, it's okay. That's the sort of day I'd be having. <laughs> oh, my head is now preparing the dinner. 
which is excellent. Roast chicken and veggies. Mm -mm. Stomach's growling already. Oh, the cat's come to join me. He doesn't know he's in disgrace yet. <laughs> you keep with your kid. Wonder if he's going to jump on the uh, jump up on the table this week. He's got it on him today. Something terrible. Oh, let's just pop that over there. Put in some script. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you heal quickly. Vicky says she broke her arm. Oh, man. That sucks. I hope it heals quickly for you. Is it your left or your right? Is it your dominant hand or not? Could be a good time to practice uh, drawing with your non dominant hand if it's your dominant hand you broke, arm you broke. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind if no one comments. I just chitter chatter on and uh, get it done. And then enjoy the rest of the Sunday. Might be going to the cinema tonight. Not sure what's on yet though, so might not go. <laughs> you left. Oh. So you're not a lefty then. So I was watching the other day about um, WN.com taking videos from YouTube and embedding them on their news channel. The way a news channel wants crafting videos, I'll never know. <laughs> but the way they capture them is um, by using keywords and that. So, uh, yeah, so maybe the best way to save your work from going on another channel is to not put in keywords. <laughs> Too sure about that though. As I say, mine aren't on there. Mine are on there only when someone's used um, my name in their title of their video, because uh, a lot of it's to do with using, um, you know, find me on Facebook, Twitter and things like that you know all their social media links and I think that's one of the things that they use to capture the videos and I don't do that I don't push myself forward like that I don't you know say follow me on Twitter and YouTube and Instagram and this is my Facebook page and this is my fan mail page and I don't do that so they when in one respect, I'm quite sad that I'm not on there, and in another, I'm quite glad <laughs> that um, because I don't try to, to uh, push my channel forward like that. I don't don't get those things happening, thankfully. Although I did notice that I got a thumbs down on a video the other day. I haven't checked to see which, whether it's from Spain again. <laughs> if it's from Spain, it'll be my mum. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's not true. True that I'll ever, but not, not that the thumbs down to be from here. That's just my sense of humour talking there. Just 
go with a quick slurp and a um, and a go of the um, heat gun just to dry that off a little bit. And then I'm going to have some fun colouring in. I don't know whether you can hear this or not. Eileen says that um, you couldn't hear it the other day when I was on, so that's good. No, you don't know. Um, you know what country it's from. Hi, Sheila. You, you don't know what uh, who sent you the thumbs down, but you can certainly see what country it comes from so uh, and my last one was from Spain and that's where my mum lives <laughs> so that's my little joke <laughs> but it's Sunday here afternoon here in New Zealand and of course Sunday is my index card day so I'm um, just making my index card What I did was I used a uh, an index card that I'd had as a prompt for something else and then just put some scraps of watercolour paper on from a mermaid that I've made for a swap, a mermaid doll. She's got a, uh, she's got um, the mermaid doll there, you know, with her little flexible arms and things. And she's got hair that comes off. And then you can put some more hair on, you know, flowing locks, you know, like that. So she gets even taller, <laughs> move her fins, etc., etc. I quite like her bold, actually. I've got some, like, nice straight hair. She's been having a bit of fun with the little mermaid doll. So there you go. Just gonna have a little bit of fun with her, just like that. <laughs> Put her hands on her hips. Yeah, or well, she can go stop, stop you, <laughs> stop. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's where that paper came from, and I stamped some tissue paper, and I've just glued it on. And now I'm just giving it a little bit of dry and then I'm going to have some fun colouring it in. So yeah, there you go. Caught you all up now. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. She's a tall gal, I tell you about that. Must be a really strong swimmer. Let's have a go at cleaning off my little pink mat at some point. Although it's got ink on it, so it probably won't. Probably won't clean off very well. Oh, look at that. That's more I sight to stop it. Oh, right, okay, so. Um, So I've got these uh, graph tint, graphite so coloured soluble graphite pencils that my husband bought me from the UK when he came over. So uh, when he came to visit, so that's nice. So I'm going to have a play with those, see how they go on this. I'm hoping that it's dry enough <laughs> for them to uh, work on here. They might not, they might, they might not, who knows. So we'll just colour them out, have a little bit of fun colouring in. Of course I'd like my bee to be orange. Oh, look, look you now, it's still a little bit wet. 
So that is never going to work. <laughs> Stupid glue. Of course, if this was a, if I was doing this on video, I'd just let it dry off. I don't know if they're a new product or not, actually. I see if there's a year on them. So it's not suitable for children under three years old. <laughs> no, there's no year or anything on there, so I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're new or not. I doubt it. Is. It's not like me to have something new, you know, like up to date. <laughs> I'm usually way behind the curve. But as I say, my hubby did find them. So. So I don't know, he got them in the UK, I don't know whereabouts, so, but I didn't want to do green on them, did I? I wanted to do grey, grey wings, there you go. These are actually watercolour, water soluble. But um, my problem is now, of course, is that the papers, the tissue paper is wet as well, so it might not be the best idea. To do it that way it might be better to do like in acrylics or inks or something you know has anybody else seen them before is my cat meowing Yeah, it's probably not the right one to use on the tissue paper because you know you can't get it too wet, don't you? Let's dry it off and see if it dries any further. Oh well, I'm not going to use those anymore. <laughs> it's not quite the right thing to use. Cup of tea time, maybe. Let's go for something a bit brighter, shall we? Put a little tray and set this out, the colour out on the little tray thing. Rather than dipping and risk contamination. Yeah, it's a little brighter, isn't it? A little bit brighter. See a little bit more. Excuse my dirty rag. <laughs> Dirty painted rag. <laughs> so, what happens with the tissue paper as well is if it's still wet, it's the uh, color bleeds on there. So I'm hoping it's dry enough not to bleed all over the place. We 
we'll find out. Look, ooh, I just had a little bleed there. I want to give a shout out actually to a um a new lady that I've been watching on YouTube and she's been doing live videos. I think she's doing them for a hundred days or something. And uh, her name's Shana Conroy. And she's amazing. Her work is amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. watch your live streams when I can but mostly I catch it on videos because it's the wrong time for me because like me she doesn't get many um live views you know as she's doing actually doing it but uh, um she she deserves more she's an amazing artist love her work I think they call them intuitive um, artists where she'll get a sketchbook and she'll just put some paint on there and then she'll slap it together, pull it apart, and then she'll begin to see all different images in it. And, uh, and then she paints them up and things like that. Or she does watercolour and she puts a stencil on and she'll start her watercolour image by... Um, Tracing the outline through the stencil. Astonishing. Fabulous. Love it. She's your friend. <laughs> she lives by you. Well, Vicky, there you go. You, you can tell her that I think that she is the bee's knees. <laughs> Love her work. Absolutely do. And she deserves more views. <laughs> that makes me laugh now. Tell her, tell her she, she's got an admirer. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, are you? I loved it. I saw it. I saw her do the ball. I actually, I'm not sure. I may have caught her doing that one live. But uh, quite often I, do, I don't comment because when I'm watching, I'm watching on my iPad. And my iPad doesn't like to type very well. So normally I'll just go in and say hi. <laughs> and then leave it at that because that's about as much typing as my iPad will let me do. <laughs> it's getting up. It's getting old now, so. Yeah, love what she does. That wolf one was astonishing, but I like I liked her penguin one she did too. That was maze balls. It was maze balls. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to dry that off a little bit. And don't you agree? She actually, uh, she deserves more views on her live streams, doesn't she? Yeah, fabulous. Took her a while to get it going, but when she did, man, she nailed it.
Yeah. All right, yeah. I don't, I don't know who, who does she go live at the same time as then. Maybe she needs to like look at the time she goes live. All right, okay, so Ruby, Ruby Lockwood, she goes against Ruby Lockwood. I don't know who Melody is. Yeah, it's a shame. Maybe she just needs to stagger it a little bit. Although, with some people who go on um, every day, it's a little bit difficult, and that you're going to come against um, other people. I've noticed that, you know, that as you go around the lives, yeah, Ruby and Melody Lane. Yeah, as you go as you go around the live stream, you should find that the same people are watching the videos, aren't they? Sorry, I'm making you uh, type in so much there, Vicky. <laughs> oh, that's nice. But you can't get in on chat on that one then. <laughs> she has 500 lives there. It's got, it's, chat's got to go pretty fast on that one. Yeah, the arch, when the arch shipper has who's at 500 or whatever, which he does occasionally, you, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, he can't even, how is she? Yeah, there's no hope of me getting on chat on that one. I get booted off chat on, on big um, streams like that. It's like, ah, uh, give up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a cricket, so I suppose that that's why it wouldn't um, really interest me. I'm not sure I'd ever... Um, get one either 
never say never but you know i'm not really doesn't really float my boat for me <laughs> I know you can do lots with them. I was at the supermarket the other day and there's this bumblebee in the window and I had to go and rescue it and let it outside. <laughs> Love bumblebees. It's because I don't push myself actually, Vicky. I don't I don't advertise myself, I don't push myself forward. But thank you for saying that anyway. <laughs> That's really kind of you to say so. I posted a video of my cat trying to get out the window in a, uh, a cat group that I belong to, of course, because I'm mad about cats, because I'm the mad cat lady. And uh, it started off this huge argument about indoor outdoor cats. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Huge argument on this. My, my cat videos have never been so popular. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, really? Really? It's blind. <laughs> That's blind, for goodness sake. <laughs> if he got out, he'd probably never find his way back. <laughs> That's just me thinking that anyway. Let's see if this will work on here. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I've pushed everything into the back now, so I'll have to spend a little time bringing it all forward again. I've got a uh, canvas sat on my easel there next to me waiting for me to finish it and it's been there for just over two weeks so i'm hoping to finish it this week <laughs> this week i may finish that canvas i don't know whether you know but i just got a job Yay, I've got a job. <laughs> Been trying since October. And that's why I, I missed last week and that because I was just too tired. Too tired. <laughs> I'd forgotten what hard work it was working. Man, I'm happy to be employed, but I'm just tired. <laughs> I suppose training for the uh, half marathon didn't help either. Or maybe it did. Maybe it gave me a bit of stamina or something. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, it's a support worker just helping people after injury and accidents stay in their homes so they're not you know in hospital taking up time and that so yeah support worker just 
don't mind telling people what I do. Can't tell you anything else more than that though, because of course confidentiality. But there. Yeah. So as you can imagine, I am quite tired. <laughs> it's hard work. Yes, thank you, Sheila. Yeah, it was, um, let's see. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Seven months to get a job. I was beginning to think that um, it was my age putting people off. Because <laughs> uh, I only got two interviews. In all that time, I applied for loads and loads of jobs and I got two interviews. That's really bad. Really bad. So I was thinking it was my uh, age. <laughs> yep. Of course, I'm almost too tired to do anything else now. <laughs> That's the only problem until I get used to working again. Six years of not working is a long time. I've got to look at this stamp. What's he doing with there? What's he doing there? He's got, a, he's got that little bit there and he's got that little bit there. He's got more legs up here. Just help if you look to see what's going on doing it. That bit there, got that bit there, and he leaves a little bit there, and he leaves a little bit there. There we go. Yeah. It is good work, and it's it's uh, work that's needed, especially if no one, people haven't got family who can do it. It's not the most highly paid job in the world, <laughs> but it's a job, and for that I'm eternally grateful. It means I get to, at some point, buy crafting supplies and not feel guilty, <laughs> but not yet. Got to clear off a couple of credit card things first, you know, like the camera <laughs> that I put on the credit card, hoping that I'd get a job, <laughs> and I did. <laughs> and I need a new fridge freezer. So I have to buy the fridge freezer before I buy the uh, camera. Camera. Before I buy any more craft supplies. Which would be nice. Nice. But by the fridge freezer, it means I can get more things in the freezer at the supermarket when they're on cheap and special offer. Special offer. <laughs> Let's see if we can brighten this up some more. Yeah, it's not everybody's cup of tea, the work, but uh, it's work. And of course, because I'm traveling around as well, I'm getting to see more 
of the countryside, <laughs> places I wouldn't normally go, which is nice. Thank you. I do like traveling. I always wanted to do community nursing. I know, I know bees aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely love them. <laughs> I do all I can to save the little honeybees that I see around. <laughs> oh, if I see one on the floor, I'll pick it up and put it in, into a bush or something, you know. Crazy. And the crazy bee lady as well as the crazy cat lady. Yeah, I do. I do sell some of my work. If anybody ever asks me, <laughs> I do. I've also entered a couple of um, exhibitions where I've sold a couple of canvases too. So it's nice. <laughs> I'm actually trying to work on some canvases now. To get together to start showing some work later on this year, maybe early next year. Sure, that's what it's sort of like what I'm working on on the side here when I have time. Just getting my cam, you know, show canvases ready. It takes a lot of effort to get it all up and together and that. Patience, <laughs> which I did have a lot of. <laughs> Actually, it's not true. I do have lots of patience. I did try an Etsy store once. That didn't work. <laughs> Gave it up. And someone tried to uh, get my work for nothing off the uh, off the Etsy store. Wanted to use my work in her book, but not pay me anything for for it. Cheeky cat. <laughs> but at least she asked me so I was able to get my work down before she, she uh, tried to grab it. Man, some people. So this is good. This is uh, nice and relaxing. Just what I need. <laughs> a busy week at work. I just want to say thank you to the Queen for having her birthday next weekend. <laughs> it's very kind of her. I appreciate it so much. Extra day off. Day to recover. Super awesome. She's very kind to me as Queen. <laughs> Might just uh, put some shading around these now. 
know that they're standing out a bit better. Just thinking of what I'm going to use. Might just use these watercolour ones as a just as normal pencil, which you can do. You don't have to activate it with water if you don't want to. That can be inquired. Oh, thank you, Vicky. <laughs> no. Yeah, we used to do lots of index cards on the international crafters. We used to do them as challenges. But um, we gave that up when people started just not bothering. So uh, we decided not to not to do it ourselves because um, it put you into a lot of pressure. We were cranking out the videos uh, lots and lots then when we were getting the group up and running. But um, yeah, Eileen and I get on well and uh, I really enjoy our little live stream we do together. It's a lot of fun actually. Thanks, Sheila. Yeah, it's good when you can have a bit of fun when you're, you're doing it like that. And I actually like the bits where we uh, challenge each other. Have a bit of a laugh. Make fun of each other. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised that the uh, you still got such a good uh, light on the um, camera there because it's getting dark in my room. So maybe I should send people more happy mail. <laughs> I might get more people looking me up then. <laughs> Because you do know that I have a, um, uh, a mermaid group as well. Of course, you do, Vicky, but um, Sheila, and anybody else watching, <laughs> I have another group too. If you love mermaids, <laughs> you've got to look at, at the uh, my other group that I run with Elaine. She's another fantastic artist, isn't she, <laughs> Lady? Wow. I'm in awe of her ladies. <laughs> she does awesome work and she just branched out into clay as well. She's making some amazing little clay figurines and things. They're astonishing. You surround yourself with talented people maybe some of it will rub off on me <laughs> that's my feeling anyway Hi, Melissa, Melissa, Melindra, Melissa. <laughs> yeah, Eleni is awesome. And uh, and she joined me, she joined uh, International Crafters first. And then uh, she joined me for tw the 29 Painted Faces. And after that, I asked her to um, whether she'd start the mermaid group with me. Uh, 
And she, thankfully, she said yes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for her to swap with a mermaid with me there. <laughs> Love to have one of her mermaids. Melissa, I remembered. Yes. <laughs> Uh, have you thought of extending your challenge um, that you've got going, Melissa? Just extending the date, maybe get, and then maybe you get, you'll get a few more people joining in. Unless, of course, you've already got enough papers. I've got some I can send you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You do, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> I want one, I'm jealous. Oh, seriously, I am. I'm seriously. Eleni, you need to send me a mermaid. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't have many papers, you see. It's like, a, unless I actually sat down and did it, I wouldn't have anything to send you. So maybe, you know, if you extended it, it'd give some of us a chance who don't have lots of papers hanging around. <laughs> Got a total of 10. It's only open till the end of the month, isn't it? Is it just till the end of the month? I don't know. I don't know. All right. What else am I going to do on here? I don't know. Script. I actually want to do something in white just because I've darkened it down quite a bit now, and I? I quite like it dark though. Yes, May 30th. Yes, yeah, see. I've been trying to get some papers ready, but maybe I'll just send you some happy mail afterwards when I have enough papers. <laughs> I'll just send you some happy mail after. <laughs> oh my God, I was watching Debbie, Debbie Vignola's um, little card challenge thing she had going. Wow, yeah, for... So it's like, oh my goodness. got 50 odd or something on her challenge there and I was like yay Debbie <laughs> you go girl but I think that's just people like me just saying thank you to her for um always being there and supporting our channels because she's really good at that much better than me <laughs> well I am trying trying to do my bit <laughs> Betsy Doodle, she'd been around a while though, hasn't she?
I think. Certainly a name that's familiar to me then, so, you know. I'd have to get the paint pen out. I don't want to get it out. <laughs> it's almost empty. <laughs> Although now I am working, I suppose I could. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I'm working on it. <laughs> if you like bees, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I got I got distracted, Melissa, because I started a job, and so everything that I had planned to do just got put to the back burner because I'm just too tired, being too tired to um do anything. So I have planned to make you some. As I say, I'm, I'll send you some happy mail instead. You'll enjoy that. I think it's raining. <laughs> I think it's raining. It's getting dark in here. So glad I got that camera. <laughs> it's not showing how dark it is on the screen there as it is in the room. Man, I can almost not see now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's so funny. Of course, because you know what happened to Eileen, um, happened to me before it happened to Eileen. And so now she's going to have to get a new camera too. You see, my Fitbit just said to me I need to get up and get moving. <laughs> Doesn't like me when I'm sat down too long. Just doodling around now. Hoping my internet doesn't give out. <laughs> After we finish the live stream on um, Friday, uh, five minutes after we finish, the internet just stopped working. <laughs> so it's like, oh my God, Eileen, <laughs> did it just in time. <sighs> yeah, the um, it's next week. It's a half marathon and it's next week, next weekend. And I was just saying that, I'm thankful 
the queen choosing to have her birthday that weekend so that I can have the Monday off to recover from running. <laughs> it's very nice of her. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. Melissa's thinking of having another challenge in July. Thumbs up for Melissa. 70 Acre Studio, so keep watching out for her. <laughs> like, subscribe and share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Got to do it now, Melissa. Sorry. <laughs> I've announced it for you. <laughs> oh. Well, I've almost finished here. I could do Eileen and just keep going. You know how she does. You know how she does. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. She'll, I'll switch up the camera off live and then come back and say, just one more thing. <laughs> Love it how she does that. Absolutely freezing cold today it was. We haven't had any snow yet, but we may do. <laughs> it was so cold. It's very, very cold. <laughs> Fuel bills doubled because I've got the heaters on all the time. No idea which way up this goes. What do you think? <laughs> hey. Yeah, thanks, Vicky. I don't know. Shall I put a saying on there? I don't know. Shall I put a saying on there? There. Let's have a look. That will pop in red, won't it? <laughs> now, what to say? Mm. 
one in. I need your wristy here to tell me what to put on there. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Oh my goodness, love it. Not sure I get it all in there though. <laughs> well, you can see it's getting dark now, it's starting to get dark. Mm. Let's see how much we'll get on there. See it getting dark now. See it getting dark on camera. When I've got any more on there than that. <laughs> Right, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> that amuses me when I do that. Cute. Can I? <laughs> uh, is, that, is that small? <laughs> it's in capitals too. I have my head in shock as well. <laughs> Come on, gals, it's always time to go. Look, I'm losing light. <laughs> I can hardly see it. If I put a light on, that will really affect the um, the white balance on the uh, screen. <laughs> I can hardly see. Right, let's get this down now. It's going down. Put on the matte medium actually. Takes a little while for it to stick with the matte medium, but at least it doesn't get sticky.
Now I can hardly see um I can hardly see what I'm doing here. It's gone so dark in my room. I don't have a light on. I had trouble putting the words in on my uh, elephant the other day. Did you see that one? <laughs> yeah. Eileen stitched me up on that one. No, just joking. Just joking, Eileen. You didn't. <laughs> I'm just joking, honestly. It's, uh, it's 5 p.m. on Sunday. And of course, it's uh, autumn coming in for winter. <laughs> Still like a bee. Five p.m. In my cafe. Yep, I just finished this one in turn because the lights almost gone. <laughs> it's almost gone. Saturday night. Saturday night's all right for fighting or whatever it was. The Elton John song. Must be time for a. Uh, oh, what's that? What was I doing with that one? Saving it for something, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Give a moustache. So, am I going to put this one on a middle one? Or am I going to put it on an outside one? It's a flat one, so I'll put it in the middle, shall I? Yeah, some people don't sleep, do they? <laughs> That wouldn't be me. That would not be me. I would be asleep like a little baby. So this is going in my um, album, my index card album. I've yet to show you how to make. <laughs> Maybe when I'm not quite so tired. <laughs> After I've got this half marathon out of the way, and I'm more used to working, we'll do a uh, album for a couple of hours. Oh yeah, and they're looking to see if they can put fibre broadband in here. They're coming around to have a look on Wednesday. Then they've got to ask all my neighbours whether they, they can dig up the road to put it in. <laughs> and if one neighbour rejects, I don't get it. Which would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? So I think I just finished this one in time. There we go. Because I can't see man in front of my face. It's so loud dark here. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. This will one will go in here like that when it's all finished. Yes. Yeah, now looking at it, you see, maybe I should put this one around the other way. What do you think? It should have gone around the other way. <laughs> oh, my OCD is going to play me up on that one. Anyway, there, that's it. We'll go in there when it's completely dry and it's all stuck down. 
thanks for joining me this week and hopefully no i won't be here you know i probably won't be here next week because it's actually the day of the marathon so a uh, half marathon so um yeah the week after that will be another index card <laughs> so i hope you join me for that one and um see you again then i um, really appreciate you coming in and having a chat and uh yeah so thanks a lot see you again soon bye